Hi, thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to show you how you can make this fun uh, party favor. It's a little pouch that I created out of a card um, that's uh, actually on our Cri Close to My Heart Cricut Art Philosophy cartridge. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you how you can do that. So as I said, I went ahead and I started with a Colonial White um, base. Um, this card that um, the star punches out in the center and um, you're going to go ahead and fold it in half. It's already got the score line on there. And before you go ahead and select what size um, card you're going to do, you're going to want to figure out how big the item that you're going to be putting in the pouch is. So I had these chocolate covered uh, sunflower seeds and I went ahead and I packaged them in a small little Ziploc bag. And so from that I was able to figure out that I needed my card to be at three and a quarter. And that way the candy shows through the little punch out star and there's still room to go ahead and seal it around the edges. So that's my first little tip for you. And so then the first thing I did is I wanted to use our stamp of the month called Little Reminder. Um, as you can see here, it's got um, numbers and the days of the week and some uh, months of the year and a couple of sentiments. And so we're going to be doing a couple of the numbers along with Let's Celebrate on this. So I've already gone ahead and started stamping. Um, what I did is I used four different colors to kind of match with those sunflower seeds. And the colors I chose were the sunny yellow, cotton candy, topiary, and barn red. And how I did it is I started from light to dark. So the last one I have to do is the four in the barn red. So I'll go ahead and do that real quick. And you're just going to do it randomly um, just to get the color all around. And... Um, just ties it all in nicely with the candy that's going to be showing through that little pocket. Okay, so that should be good. And then what I did is to just get a little bit more texture and dimension, I'm not sure if you can see it on there or not, um, I took our little stubble tool here that comes in our texture tool pack and I just pounced it in the barn red and then just pounced it here on my project just to give it a little bit more depth and texture so that it's not just that colonial white showing through. And you can do it as much or as little as you want. And while I have the barn red open, um, I'm going to go ahead and stamp our tag. So this is another tag that I, I um, cut out from our Art Philosophy cartridge. And this one I did at three quarters of an inch, and that was big enough to have the Let's Celebrate on there. So we'll go ahead and stamp that since I also did that in the barn red. And you're just going to do that right in the center. Just like that. And that way we're all done with our stamping. Put that aside. So then what I did is I went ahead and I put my pack of sunflower seeds in the center here. Again, just to get a sense of how much space I had around it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your piercing tool and a mat. And I did it all by hand. I just went around. I took the um, candy out so that way it wasn't too fat. And you're just going to go and you're going to manually put little holes around the card. And you're going to go all the way around and you're going to go all the way through. Um, cause then what we're going to do is we're going to actually use our waxy flax. I love this stuff because it's um, nice and thin, so it's easy to thread through by hand, but it has that wax coating, so it makes it um, more pliable and it's easy to go through, um, whereas like embroidery floss, um, you can't push it through because it doesn't have the stiffness that this waxy flax does. So you're going to just go ahead and um, you're going to have it go in the one direction. And what you'll find is sometimes it might be hard to thread it back through. If you take your piercing tool and you push it all the way through so that it goes all the way to the top of the barrel, the barrel gets wider so that makes the hole a little bit wider so it's easier to thread. So I just went ahead and I did that and you're going to go all the way around your card. So that um, so your back piece is going to actually have that flat edge, I don't know if you can see in there, where it goes across to... Um, Go ahead and thread it so that the two ends meet up at the top so you can tie the bow. And then before you get to the very top, you're going to want to go ahead and insert your um, candy in there. But you will go ahead and punch your holes before you do that. So you will have this in there and you'll have it all tied up. And then right before you're going to go ahead and um, tie it in the nice bow, you're going to punch a hole in your tag and then attach your tag to it. And then um, the final thing is just to give it a nice backing is I cut out a scalloped circle and I cut, since my card was at three and a quarter, I cut this out at three and three quarters and I did it in the barn red so that it would tie in nicely. And because I wanted it to um, stand out a little bit and be easier for people to untie, um, since we didn't go all the way through the barn red, I used 3D foam to attach this to the barn red. It gives it a little bit of lift and like I said, it also gives access if they need to undo more of that stitching that you've done. 
So the final thing I'm going to show you how to do for this is the colored sparkles on here. So I wanted to kind of tie that in nicely. And so a nice trick is when you take our clear sparkles, you can actually take Sharpie markers and color them. The color won't be as intense as maybe your Sharpie marker is, but you'll still get a nice color effect. So I'm going to do a couple here to show you. So you just go ahead and take the Sharpie marker and color right over that clear one. And then just let it dry. And then you've got some nice colors that you can use on your card. And so then I just went ahead and I just placed one around each angle of the star. And there you go. A cute little party favor pouch that you can do um, just using some shapes from the art philosophy cartridge. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for stopping by.